What's up guys, today I wanna to be teaching you guys seven different ways to film a car scene. So you can have, you know, a green screen on the outside of a car, you can have a projector on the outside of a car, or you can be filming this car for real. But just make sure you're being safe and you're very cautious, right? All right, so number one is called front seat shooting. And what it is, is you're filming from the front to the back and you're filming the character in the back seat, right? And when you wanna have like a long lens to just focus on that character. Also, the car should be driving very slowly. If you have two characters in the back, you can have two different shots and then like a wide shot of both of them. So you have more like freedom in the editing room. And if you wanna film the character in the front seat, well, that's the next step which is backseat shooting. And you're filming from the backseat to the front seat. A way to show the character's face is you can have them look back, but you can also have it where they're looking into the mirror. And you wanna use a long lens to film them looking into the mirror. But that's if the character is not that important that's driving like a taxi driver. I'm just saying like if they're not very important in the story, but if they are important to the story, Film it from the passenger seat from the side. It makes us connect to the character a lot more better. Next is for car dialogue. And basically what you can do is film it from the back and you're pointing out the two persons in the front seats, right? So you're filming from this angle and then you're filming from this angle from the back. I think it's called like a French angle or something like that. I don't really know. When the characters look at each other, you want to have motivations for them to look at each other. They're not just like planting for no reason. And also you can have the windows open and you know, have some cool breathing you know mess with their hair and it could be kind of cool also you can have the microphone at the bottom of the car um, to f like point at pointing up to get the audio all right so next is called the parked car right and what it is is you're filming from the outside and the car is parked right so you're filming from the outside into the car and you want to you know either open the doors or roll the windows down and you're filming at the characters inside talking and you want to have a long lens for this shot also make sure the characters are not moving a lot because that kind of moves the car a bit on the edge of the frame and that looks kind of weird. The next thing is like leaving the car, right? So what you do is have the character, you know, they're getting out and have the camera like kind of track up and you know, follow the character. And also make sure her eyeline is very tight. Like she's looking at something right next to the camera just makes it a lot better. And also you can use like a longer lens. So as she's going up, you can cut to like the long lens to get closer to her face. Next is called the car walk, right? So this is not very common in real life, but in movies, it's used a lot, right? And it's basically when a car is like driving really slowly next to someone walking and they're like having a conversation or arguing. And basically to do this, you wanna frame the outside character to the right side, have the camera close to the windshield and shooting outside of the car. And you wanna have the inside character on the left side and then have the camera slightly ahead in front of the driver. And to make this scene good, you wanna basically have the camera height at the character we're supposed to identify with. So either the lower character, you know, you can have the camera pointing up at the higher character and it's not two different like heights basically. And also make sure the car is going very, very slow to make this look good. Next, it's called shooting through window. And this is, could be used, you know, in a stakeout scene or the characters are waiting for someone. They're not talking to each other. You wanna have a lens to one side, filming the character behind the character that's in front of the camera, right? And another angle could be the other character that's blurry and you film that character from the front. That made no sense, okay. And you want two different angles for this. Angle number one is basically from one side of the car, right? Shooting inwards. And the character in the background is the one that's in focus. And you want to use a long lens for it so the characters are roughly the same size. And then another shot is from the front and it's facing the character that was out of focus in the previous shot. Now you know how to film a car scene, right? but you wanna you know, improve your cinematography in general and could enhance your car scenes a lot. So watch this video right here to learn how to improve your cinematography. I hope these tips were helpful to you. Best of luck in your future filmmaking endeavors. Peace out.